CNN President Donald Trump has boldly declared that he is a genius, a very stable one at that. His Republican colleagues on Capitol Hill were not so quick to agree. He's smart and capable at getting himself elected president, said Kansas Sen. Jerry Moran. But is he a genius? Moran paused for several seconds, smiled and said simply, got nothing. Moran ISNT the only Republican to hesitate. In interviews with more than a dozen House and Senate Republicans on Monday, none of them agreed with Trump's assertion that his intellect is far superior than his peers. While they disagreed with a Democratic attack that Trump is not fit to be commander-in-chief, Republicans mostly laughed off Trump's repeated assertions that helps a genius even if the president himself seems to be serious about it. Listen, my view of the president I find him to be engaging, gracious, do you know, pretty funny, and I don't have a question H.E.S. fit for office, said Sen. Ron Johnson, the conservative from Wisconsin. Asked if he agreed with Trump's assessment that helps a genius, Johnson laughed, walked into the Senate chamber and didnt reply. Trump over the weekend fueled debate over his intelligence after pushing back on Michael Wolff's book, Fire and Fury Inside the Trump White House, which questions whether he has the mental stability to hold office. As GOP leaders were huddled in Camp David for strategy sessions, Trump fired off a furious round of tweets attacking detractors for questioning his mental capacity. Actually, throughout my life, my two greatest assets have been mental stability and being, like, really smart, Trump tweeted. He added I went from very successful businessman, to top TV star to President of the United States on my first try. I think that would qualify as not smart, but genius, dot and a very stable genius at the task if he agreed with Trump, South Carolina Sen. Tim Scott him not commenting on anything. Asked why not, Scott quipped I don't want to. Neither did Sen. John Thun, the number three Republican in the chamber. He obviously was just responding to the book, and I think H.E.S. just egging you guys on, Thun said. But asked if he thought Trump was a genius, as the president often declares, Thun grinned and slipped into the ornate inner sanctum room on the first floor of the Senate without saying anything else. Trump's weekend tweets are hardly the only time the president has boasted about his intelligence. He frequently says he has a very high IQ, pointing to his Ivy League pedigree and his successful real estate career. And he called himself a genius more than once. I don't really know what that means, said Texas Gop Rep. Roger Williams. I mean the fact of the matter is that he was very successful in business, been elected president of the United States, excuse me that's a lot of success but the word genius. There are not many geniuses, depending on how you describe them, added Sen. Richard Shelby, the senior Alabama senator, who also said Trump was well and alert when he spent time with him over the fall. No comment, said Sen. Jeff Flake, the Arizona Republican and frequent Trump critic. Rep. Carlos Curbelo, a Florida Republican who declined to endorse Trump in 2016, was more blunt. I would never call myself that, Curbelo said. It's not my style. But, you know these characteristics that people were complaining about and some of the president's antics it's not new. Sen. Bill Cassidy, a conservative from Louisiana, praised Trump's economic record and said, I wish he would tweet less, but that's his style. Asked if he agreed with Trump's tweet asserting that helps a genius, Cassidy said well, again how many of us are geniuses in everything? But H.E.S. got great kids. Everybody in this accepts that helps got great kids.